Hello guys, welcome back to All on Law. In this video lecture, I will be talking about a pallor, how clinically you can differentiate and diagnose a disease. So in this video lecture, so you will come to know different types of uh, diseases that you can diagnose by pallor and small other signs. That's it. So it's going to be very interesting. So please do subscribe to our channel All on Law and please do share our videos. And if you like the video, please thumb up. So let's move on to the uh, slide which I have made already. So like uh, uh, friends you can see over here. So I made a six columns where there is a disease, the liver, the spleen, jaundice and uh, the growth of the child. Especially this is going to be on the child and other signs. So it's going to be very interesting. So let's start with this. So I will be giving you the scenario and you can diagnose a disease. So let's go ahead. Now the child comes to you and the thing the liver is what you call it's a normal first of all you should know what is normal so okay it's a normal over here let me increase the size and uh, you know uh, okay let me the size of the liver is normal on palpation it's not gonna it's not the ultrasound finding so it's normal and uh, if you see the size of the spleen over here okay uh, the spleen is a not palpable uh, usually it's a not palpable okay I will be writing here the n that's a normal in size or it's a not palpable usually it's clinically not palpable okay uh, then uh, I will be writing uh, here jaundice and there is a no jaundice no jaundice okay and uh, the growth of the child is normal so it's a normal so and other signs if you ask me there are some nail signs some nail signs so what is the diagnosis can you tell me yes you're right it's a uh, iron deficiency anemia it's a iron deficiency anemia good so how did you diagnose this uh, this is based on actually the liver was normal the what you call the spleen was not palpable there was not jaundice the growth was okay but if you, you find you found some nail signs like kalinokia that's it usually in kids you won't you won't find those things just it could be a simple uh, you know uh, just uh, there is a what you call there might be a reduced appetite like this so now let's move on to another clinical scenario let's see okay and uh, this is going to be where you will find again the liver is a normal and uh, sorry I don't know what's this okay let it be and, so on. and uh, the spleen the spleen is again not palpable it's uh, just I will write normal and uh, the jaundice jaundice may or may not be so I'm gonna write plus I'm gonna write plus or it could be a minus right so and the growth of the child if you ask me it's a normal normal to the centiles so it's a normal and there is a knuckle pigmentation uh, if you want to see knuckle pigmentation you can just google okay uh, so you will get uh, knuckle pigmentations and they are very beautiful but it's very difficult to uh, what you call see in uh, African Americans so what is the diagnosis yes you are right it's uh, nothing but a vitamin b12 vitamin b12 b12 deficiency correct so this is what uh, the disease is so looking at the pallor with these signs will help you to know the cause of the the disease okay now let's move on to the third uh, scenario okay uh, so let's see over here uh, in the liver section I will be writing uh, the liver size has increased increased okay and uh, if you ask me the spleen the spleen is also increased that you are able to palpate it okay and if you ask me jaundice uh, if you ask me jaundice um, the jaundice over here in this cl clinical scenario it could be there or it may not be so it could be a plus or minus and uh, the growth of the child in this condition is stunting okay and if you ask me other uh, there are some uh, you know uh, facial abnormalities those so facial abnormalities that we call uh, what we call it as a facies 
So what is the diagnosis? Uh, can you guess? Yes. There is look, look here. The liver size is increased. The spleen is palpable, and there may be or may not be jaundice. But the growth is affected. When there is a growth is affected, then you have to be very serious in that. So it's nothing but it's a hemolytic anemia. So it's gonna be congenital hemolytic anemia. Congenital hemolytic anemia. So it's a congenital hemolytic anemia. Remember, so Bella with these signs are really very important. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to then another uh, clinical scenario. Um, we'll start with this. Okay. And uh, here in this condition, you see a little bit the liver has increased. Okay. Uh, so I will write increase uh, now compared to the congenital hemolytic anemia where it has increased uh, anorospleen here it has increased a little bit and uh, spleen if you ask me the size of the spleen over here it's a little bit palpable that's it it's just a palpable you can say okay uh, just a palpable and uh, here if you ask me the jaundice in this case is there's a jaundice yes yes you, 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 you see a jaundice in this child and the growth of the child is uh, good okay uh, it's good uh, it's doing well or normal you can type and uh, the if you ask me other signs here uh, I think it's nil so what is the condition where you find liver size the spleen uh, increase little bit jaundice is there but everything is normal with the child what it could be yes it is acquired hemolytic anemia remember yes it's acquired it's acquired hemolytic anemia Okay. So it's a acquired hemolytic anemia. This is how you have to remember the size of the liver is a little bit increased, the spleen is increased, there is a jaundice, but the, everything is normal. But in congenital hemolytic anemia, you find enormous increase in the size of the liver, the spleen. There is there may be jaundice or may not be jaundice, but the growth is affected under the some facial abnormalities you find. So this is really very important. Okay, if everything is uh, almost normal and uh, no spleen, no liver, uh, palpable, you mean to say, <laughs> okay, and uh, the, there is no jaundice, okay, nil, and uh, if you ask me, the growth of the child is exactly normal or is doing well, and um, the other signs, if you ask me, there are no, uh, there are some signs, some anomalies, if we find, okay, some anomalies. Some anomalies, then the diagnosis could be yes, you're right, it's a plastic anemia. A plastic anemia. Okay, so this is really, I think you are getting an idea that uh, how exactly we are uh, uh, knowing about the problems over here. Okay, so a plastic anemia in this case, where liver and the spleen will be normal, the gel may they, they will not be a jaundice, the kid will be normal, but there's some anomalies associated with that. And this is hmm? okay. Now let's move on to the next clinical scenario uh, where the liver is just palpable. Okay, just I've read increased. And uh, if you ask me the spleen over here in this condition is a little bit palpable, okay, and a little bit increased. And uh, the jaundice over here is not there, it's a nil. And uh, the growth of the child is normal, okay. And the growth of the child is normal. And uh, the if you ask other signs, there are some bony tenderness, bony tenderness. So I think you are getting an idea and the enlargement of the lymph nodes also. Yes, you are right. It's uh, nothing but a leukemia. It's leukemia. So you can see over here leukemia. There is a slight increase in liver size with the pallor, of course, with the pallor. And increase in the spleen size with the jaundice will not be there and the growth of a child will be normal and body tenderness. Usually in the clinical in OPTs you will find there is a high increase in the WBC count with the pallor and the infection is not responding. At that time usually you will come to know that the child has a leukemia. Okay. Now let's move on to another condition. Let's move on to the another uh, scenario. Uh, in this condition you are finding, uh, sorry for that actually. In this uh, condition, uh, last scenario, you will find increase in the liver size. It has increased a quite, and the spleen is more and more increased. 
so it's increased a more uh, more I will write more over here sorry so it has increased enough in size and uh, jaundice if you ask me there is no jaundice nil and uh, the growth of the child is stunting the growth of the child is stunting and clinical uh, sign and symptoms if you are some is some CNS findings you can get okay some CNS findings you may get or you may not get so what's the diagnosis can you guess uh, it could be during uh, what you call since birth if you have noticed uh, this might be yeah correct exactly it's during uh, in neonatal examination also you might sometimes you might find out but usually it is fine it is found during one year of age yes it's a storage disease storage disorder okay right this is uh, how uh, the clinically uh, from a pallor you can make out so you can make out from this uh, with the, if a child has a pallor with these uh, look at the liver spleen jaundice and the growth and other signs that will help you to diagnose and uh, to know the disease so from this uh, we came to know so many diseases from just a pallor with uh, some findings clinically uh, I hope you like it. Please do subscribe and please do share our videos. Take care. Bye.